Express.io Music licensing reimagined. Music license. Artlist IO. Licensing reimagined. Licensing reimagined. Roller Derby is played in increments called jams. Each jam lasts up to two minutes. Both teams field up to five skaters at the start of the jam. 
Four of these skaters are called blockers, and one is called the jammer. The jammer wears a helmet cover with a star on it and scores points for the team. The blockers are playing both offense and defense at the same time, and together, they make up what is called the pack. The two jammers start each jam behind the pack and must get through all of these skaters for an initial pass before they can begin to score points. When the initial pass is complete, a jammer can score one point for every opponent they pass with their hips. The first jammer out of the pack legally is declared lead jammer, which means they can end the jam any time they want, before the two minutes are up. Sounds easy, right? Are we live now? All right, we're live. I am Johnny Pepper. And I am Vampira. And we're going to bring you this next game, Cal Squad versus Fuego Latino. Uh, we'll go ahead and tell you about the Cal Squad. They've got sandwich names today. So they're represented by number 11, Turkey and Shredder. Number 112, Knuckle Slamwich. Number 1134, Just Mayo. Number 15, Petty Melt. Number 28, Vegemite. Number 300, the McRib is back. Number 31, the Moist Maker. Number 32, Cruising for Reuben. Number four, Fluffer Cutter. Number 41, Monte Cristo. Number 555, five, Astro Smash Burger. Number 69, Dr. Blatt. I got to apologize to everybody. I thought that it was a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich, but it is bacon, lettuce, avocado, tomato sandwich because they're from California. Number eight, Bandito Burrito. Number 90, $5 foot long. Number 99, Boner Kebab. They're coached by Sloppy Ho, Unbustable, and Wrap 'em Ralph. That is the Cal Squad Sandwiches. And we are joined by Fuego Latino, the team in purple. Uh, si están viendo la transmisión en vivo, estamos unidos para uh, el equipo Fuego Latino y vamos a ir por uh, pues darnos quiénes los, son los patinadores de este equipo. Uh, va a ser 727, oh, 727 Karma Electrack, 1031 Bo Whiskey Von Sweets, 113 Sid Vicious, 138 Patty Hearst, 12 Mistake, 27 Peace War, 30 Miss Defiant, 31 Halloween, 32 Prima Battlerina, 333 Lightning, 525 Effie Bomber, 594 No Mames, número 6 UPSA, y 65 Diosa Azteca, y sus coaches son Rocksteady Betty y Wu. Gracias, muñeca. De nada. <laughs> Love it. That is for all our uh, audience out there that might be uh, want to listen to in Spanish, too. I wish we had a button that we could push, and it would just turn all of our talking into Spanish. One day. That would be pretty cool. I'm pretty sure we're getting close to that. Yeah, we're getting real close to yeah. that. Also want to give some official love. Our non-skating officials, doesn't matter. Fighting Girlfriend, Whoopsie Daisy, Darth Bling, Gorham Browncoat, Siren, Mr. Nitro, Misbehaven, and Nittorious. Our skating officials. And our skating officials, we have Hate Bit, Margie Ram, Flash, Nitro Glitterin, Deck in a Box, Dysentery, Spider Monk, and Colonel Angus. Also want to give congratulations to uh, Fighting Girlfriend for doing that 300th game and getting that mighty fine cape right before this game started. Congratulations, Fighting Girlfriend. We got all that stuff said, and we are still on time. I know. I Isn't that it. awesome? I'm never on time. <laughs> so this is magical. We're only 27 seconds away from Derby. I'm too loud, right? Yeah, we're just a little loud, yeah. which is really odd yeah. for me to be told that I'm loud. <laughs> I get told that all the time. I'm not Johnny, just be quiet. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I had to learn how to be loud, and even then, it's debatable. All right, time to derby. It is time to derby. Look at those boots that Ginger Ninja is wearing. They might not be Switched flashy, out. but they are high. Yeah. All black this time. 
Still nice. as fabulous. And off we go. We have Karma Electrack for Fuego Latino against Dr. Blatt for this first jam of the game. We do see that uh, Dr. Blatt is moving up the pack, going up against a two wall, now a three wall. Get some offense real quick from their teammate. A one handed uh, just save there for Dr. Blatt. Dr. Blatt trying to push the pack up to get them out of play. Meanwhile, Karma Electrack is being dragged to the back of the pack here, very spread out. Uh, but the Cal Squad team now reforming in the back with a tripod. Fuego going in for some offense for Karma Electrack who is trying to go in through the seams, but that reformation up at the front is just killer here. They are totally locked down. Yep. And they no were in the back yet. of the pack, and now they're in the front of the pack. How'd that happen? Just still in turn one, no lead yet. But we do see a lot of offensive assist here from Fuego Latino. That is number 1031, Whiskey Von Sweets helping out Karma Electrac here. Meanwhile, Peace War is directing the pack in the back to keep Dr. Blatt well in their seams here. Oop, a butt. They got swept off their feet and out. Dr. Blatt with lead after, what was that, almost two minutes. We have like 30 sec less than 30 seconds left in this jam. Peace War uh, has the star on their head now, having pa been past the star pretty quickly. And that's the end of that. Dr. Blatt making one point off of that entire first jam. Fuego Latino held scoreless. Go ahead and put those headphones on and dust it off of that. Because I don't care about the in-house, I care about that. Absolutely. Five seconds to call on the floor. Jam number two underway right now. There was a whistle blow. They are starting. That's just a scrub yeah. start. We just don't see the <laughs> jammers uh, listed up there, but we do now have uh, at least one name up for Fuego Latino. Miss Tate going up against number six. Six, is that? 66. Sugar, Sugar? right? Sure. You have the roster. I don't have one on my roster, so. Oh. We'll go ahead and call it sugar. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe that's where the confusion was, but we do see one blocker for Fuego Latino being sent to the box. So it's a 3-4 advantage here for Cal Squad. Cal Squad now having lead against Fuego Latino. Todos en casa están viendo la transmisión en vivo. Tenemos aquí el llamar para Cal Squad. Tienen cuatro puntos ya ahora y vienen otra vez para otro cuatro puntos y allí fácilmente hacen sus cuatro puntos. Ya tienen ocho. It's fun to say Sugar takes the lead anyway. <laughs> yeah, Sugar, Sugar. And out on the outside lane. Otros cuatro puntos para Cal Squad, pero Fuego Latino sí se llevan cuatro puntos en ese encuentro. Para, para el último de, uh, de ese jam, allí tenemos 13 para Cal Squad y cuatro para Fuego Latino. Y nomás nos faltan menos de media hora para esta primera uh, mitad de este juego entre los dos equipos mixtos. Quick shout out to our good friends over at EVOT. That is our medical sponsor. They provide high school and adult students with the advanced skills and training needed to thrive in today's competitive job market. Get career training at evet.edu. Also, our good friends over at Poppin' Joe. Check them out at poppinjoe.com. You can get your very own Poppin' Joe skate bag. And our good friends over at Element. Stay salty, drink Element. Try some here at Monsoon Madness or find yours at drinkelement.com. Also want to talk about the RDOA. Get on Facebook and check out the RDOA. There's a bunch of officials, skating officials and non-skating officials. They get together and talk about stuff to raise awareness of all things official, all rule sets and all tracks. Thank you so much for what you do for Roller Derby, RDOA. The winning team of every game. Every game. Don't forget, hydrate or die. 
So yeah, keep. We don't want nobody to die, so make sure you hydrate. <laughs> it's a good reminder for everybody. Absolutely. Skating or not skating. Remember, we live in an area where it's triple digits or visiting an area that's triple digits. Right now, this is milder weather for us, which is saying something. <laughs> also want to take this opportunity to thank all our photographers out there. Thank you so much for what you do, including Kit Ruff and <laughs> my friend Brad and Janet <laughs> and my good friend Lloyd Knox at Hit Squad TV in Squad We Trust. And Recess the Photographer, Recess the Photographer. Absolutely. Derby by Recess? Yeah. And a whole bunch of others too. I know. Thank you for all you do. Yeah, we love the shots that we have gotten over this 3D weekend so far. The Friday shots were pretty incredible and I'm sure we'll have them a lot more this day. It looks like that meeting is breaking up and everybody going back to their perspective places. So I imagine roller derby is imminent. Creo que los oficiales ya tienen su, uh, ya terminaron su plática y vamos a regresar al juego. Vamos a entrar a Jam 3. Nada más nos faltan algunos segundos y ya vamos a entrar al próximo, uh, pues la próxima etapa de este juego. If it don't translate, then just mix it up. I mean, Spanglish. Is it Catter Day today? It is Catter Day. Did you see day. that shirt I brought Bonita? No, what? What shirt? I, I bought her that shirt that she was wearing. She's not here right now, but you'll have to see it. Yeah, it's got cats on it. I do it's have real cats. cool. I ordered it for myself, but when it showed up, it's a woman's shirt, uh -huh. is what my wife said. And she said, take it to Bonito. And I said, okay, I will. That's very sweet. Yes. Well, she kind of lucked into it anyway. <laughs> and she likes it, so it's a bonus. Bonus. Back to the derby on the track. What's going on, Van Buren? Well, we have Fluffer Cutter for the Cal Squad team going up against Effie Bomber. And we see two players for Fuego Latino being sent to the box. So it's a 2-4 advantage here for Cal, Cal Squad, who has lead right now. Fluffer Cutter with lead coming around for four points here, but does get knocked to the outside, but quickly regains their feet and had one to beat and out. They're Flo starting to pass away penalties like, mm -hmm, like candy. Oprah gives away cars. <laughs> yeah, well, Epi Bomber is out of the track entirely being sent to the box. So this is a power jam for Fluffer Cutter here. So not a good opportunity here for Fuego Latino to uh, be in, but you know, they have Peace War back on the track, tracking this jammer for Cal Squad, trying to keep them behind and kill this penalty to allow their jammer to return onto the track. Fuego Latino <laughs> quick to try to reform up the front, but does get uh, broken up by that Cal Squad offense here, uh, who quickly turns back to defense, seeing that there is a goat to sacrifice. But they escape. Penalty being called on the pivot for Cal Squad, being sent to the box. That Latino defense is fire. Yeah. I have to say that. They're being fired to the box Absolutely. right now. Absolutely. <laughs> Well, at the end of that exchange, we do have eight points on the board for the sandwiches, oh, which was updated to 12 points now, bringing them up to a score of 25 for the sandwiches, keeping Fuego Latino scoreless here, three jams in on the first half of this game. This official timeout is brought to you by our good friends and host league, Arizona Roller Derby, a nonprofit organization originally funded in 2003. It's the second oldest flat track league in the world. AZRD welcomes all gender, sexual orientations, races, and religions. Much of our success is an unequivocal outcome of the support of our sponsors, volunteers, and fans just like you. Might be the second oldest, but just the best. Arizona Roller Derby, thank you so much. We love seeing all our derby friends, so we appreciate everybody who came out to make this tournament happen. 
And I want to give a shout out to all the Arizona Roller Derby Leagues out there. And there's a lot of them. Thank you so much. Yeah, we had uh, Hard here today. We played against them in the morning. They're out of Flagstaff, and we love playing against them. They're always a good challenge to play up against. So thank you, Hard, for playing. A little cheer here for Babe, who is on track duty today, <laughs> putting the tape right, making sure it's nice and clean. Thank you, Babe, for all Thank that you, you. do. $5 foot long out there testing the track, making sure everything is cool, doing a little hop, skip, and jumps for us. Remember, we do have a concession stand over there if you want some... Uh, snacky snacks or some hydration supplies get on over there tell them johnny pepper sent you also you can get a tattoo if you're into that you can get a tattoo right here at monsoon madness yeah rattles rattlesnakes, rattlesnakes over there in the corner give them flash tattoos i wanted to call them rattleskate they're not rattleskate they're rattlesnake tattoo and they're in the back corner you can go check and see if they have any openings for you if you want to get some tattoo therapy. I know I got a tattoo last time, last tournament. Nice little spider for me. Absolutely. And then you can tell all your friends you got poked at Monsoon Madness. That's always yes. fun to say. I got poked. <laughs> poke, 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 poke. Got me some ink therapy. <laughs> and you can say rattlescape. I don't care. Rattlescape, rattlesnake. But it is rattlesnake. <laughs> It'd be cooler if they were out of skate, though. <laughs> well, that's probably something that they can discuss among themselves if they keep sure. coming out here. Absolutely. They, as long as they keep coming out, we, we love them. <laughs> also want to thank all our vendors out there. Who do we got? We got Out From Under The Bed podcast. We got Oh My Quad. We got Rattlesnake Tattoo, Romance Tattoo. We got the AZRD Merchandise booth out there. There are still some shirts. Get on over there. I think they got some of those green crop tops that everybody loves so well. Make sure you spend all your money there. We don't want to take nothing home. Blue's back there. Yeah. I you might be shut lunch. out on getting a massage, but you can get you some uh, Urban Apothecary goodies. And Tell I Blue Johnny Pepper said hi, and you'll get a 0% discount. <laughs> Yeah, we also have all our training out there right next to Oh My Quad, just hanging out and, uh, you know, providing charms, apparently. You know, a little, little tiny Did you get animal. a charm? Not yet. I might go check them out right after this. I want a charm. Maybe they have a crow. I don't know. Yes, you should have a charm. A crow, a bat. I don't know. I'll go check it out. You should check it out. I'll talk about all heart training. Joshua Pollock is a... NASM certified personal trainer at Ha Hard Training. We take a holistic approach to training, always with empathy at heart. Now offering in person, hybrid, and remote coaching at www.allhearttraining or on Instagram at allheart.training. That is Joshua Pollock. Go over there and check him out. That is All Heart Training. Parece que todavía te, estamos aquí uh, en pláticas, aquí en medio de la, la pista. Uh, los oficiales todavía están uh, revisando el, el uh, video para ver qué fue lo que pasó, para ver si va a haber una, un penal para el jugador que llamó el penal. Uh, así que vamos a esperar más información. Hasta entonces, agárrense en una bebida. Agárrense en algo de comer y pues aquí vamos a estar en vivo en esta transmisión entre el juego contra Cal Squad y Fuego Latino. Well, now that you've read that, all that, if I could get everybody's attention to the middle of the track, fighting girlfriend with that awesome cape in her 301st game, make some noise, please. Uh, I got the skinny on that. Uh, Fuego was looking for a track cut on that last jam. The referees got together and talked about it. They didn't see an uh, illegal cutoff, so the no call stands, and Fuego's going to lose the review for the half. Parece que los oficiales uh, llegaron a una decisión y 
el cut track que estaban tratando de uh, agarrar para el penal para el jammer de Cal Squad. No se va a retener esta mitad y pues vamos a seguir con el Fighting Girlfriend's going to start us off. $5 foot long, grabbing that lead jammer status, crossing that clover cut pivot line. <laughs> oh, real quick work to make of that scoring pass. UPSA in the last line of defense for the fire. Pack starts to get sped up a little bit as $5 foot long comes through on another scoring pass. Eight points in the pocket. Somebody's going to lead the track on a uh, multiplayer block. I believe that's number 11, Turkey and Shredder. I love Turkey and Shredder. As a sandwich or as a person? As a, both. <laughs> both. <laughs> like the sandwich and the person. Fair enough. All right, what do we have? 37 points on the board for the sandwiches after scoring 12 points. Uh, they did have a power start there against Effie Bomber. Effie Bomber was held scoreless by the Cal Squad team. I see Dr. Blatt on the line for the sandwiches. Reminding me that there is avocado in a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. Yes, Halloween. Jammer record for the fire. Yeah, San Holly does get out front and grabs lead jammer status coming out of turns one and a half. Yes, I believe this is the first lead for Fuego Latino. And we do see Halloween coming around for a scoring pass, getting some beautiful off offensive assist here from their team. We do have a star pass for the sandwiches as Astro Smashburger commits an offense and goes to 187 penalty box for a 30 second recess from that awesome defense. Yep, nice little power jam for Halloween, who is not a person to give a uh, power jam to. And it looks like they broke their scoreless streak here. Uh, Halloween having made eight points on the board, holding Cal Squad scoreless. So now we stand at 37 points for the sandwiches and eight points for Fuego Latino. Nice jam, Holly. The power of the spooky season. Abs absolutely. It's my favorite holiday. <laughs> ah. Senor Poo Poo out with lead for Fuego Latino against Astro Smashburger for the Cal Squad team. Astro coming back in to the track from the penalty box, uh, being held at the back, but just squeezes through the inside lane and is out on their initial. Meanwhile, Senor Poo Poo is being dragged and finds some room on the inside lane, gets their points, and calls it off before Astro can come back around to score their own points. There was a lot of whistles there. I know. Usually not, not a the, good thing. Not just the four to close it, but a couple of whistles that, uh, during the closing as well. Right. Well. As we lose a couple of players to the 187 penalty box. Hey, but does check in with some players and lets them know. Uh, releases one of the blockers back to Fuego Latino. So there we go. We're going to have a timeout being called here by... This Ooh, official timeout. Officials. Yeah. This official timeout is brought to you by Fighting Girlfriend in her 301st game. As an official, give us some official love to Fighting Girlfriend. Yeah, I think they just had to check numbers, probably just a few little technical things that they need to clean up. One of my favorite officials. Are and they? a cool derby name. Yeah. <laughs> I would want a fighting spouse or partner on my side. Well, while that gets settled, we have 37 points for the sandwiches and 12 points for Fuego Latino with 21 minutes left in this first half, going into jam seven, I believe. Who do we have out there? Bandito Burrito wearing the star for the sandwiches going up against Carmelec Track for 
the fire. Peace Warrior Company at the front of the pack and Karma Let Track gets through. Karma Let Track wanted me to say hi, hi to the baby Beautiful. back home. Mm -mm -mm. Jammer on jammer action. I'm not sure about the exact date, but Karma had a baby not too long ago. Well, you it's can't. a little infant back at home. Well, you can't tell right now because they're uh, Absolutely. Know, coming around for a scoring pass and just giving it all that they can here. I believe that's four points apiece so far for Bandito Burrito and Karma Electrac. I do hear a whistle calling the jam. Let's see what shakes out from that last exchange. Not sure if Cow Squad made any points there. Give it a second. I usually call these ahead. All right, so it's still standing at four points for Fuego Latino and zero for the sandwiches. So Fuego Latino is chipping away at that lead. We have 16 points on the board for them right now up against the 37 for the sandwiches. I think that is that. Wow. And out we go. Who was that? That is mistake out there for the fire. Grabbing lead jammer status. That is two in a row for the fire. Going up against Fluffer Cutter for the sandwiches. Yeah, for the Latino, just, I guess they found their footing in the, just the general pace of Cow Squad and is now figuring out how to be successful against them. Uh, because now it's pretty close now. They might have just been gaming sandwiches of false sense of security. <laughs> Who knows? We play mind games here in roller derby sometimes, so. Ooh. Mistake coming out on the outside lane. Scooches past that last line of defense here and out with another four points. It looks like the Jammer, uh, jammer Star has been passed over to Knuckle Slamwich, but it is a power jam here for Mistake. Power jam. Pa -pa -pa power jam. Fuego Latino tiene oportunidad de hacer más puntos mientras que está ocupado el llamar para Cow Squad uh, porque lo mandaron al, uh, a la cancha de penal. Y aquí ya tenemos 16 puntos um, que Mistake ha hecho en este juego. Ahora 20 porque hizo otro 4. Muy bueno, mi amiga. <laughs> Muchas gracias. <laughs> Tenemos 20 segundos aquí que nos faltan en este juego. Ya regresa el jammer para el Cow Squad. Y ya se termina ese juego. Wow. Y tenemos, ¿cuántos puntos tenemos ahí? 22 puntos para Fuego Latino. Y estamos ahora 38 contra el Cow Squad 37. Y ya le llegaron 22. a 22. Ajá, un punto <laughs> <laughs> entre los dos equipos aquí con 17, menos de 17 minutos en esta primera mitad de este juego entre Cow Squad y Fuego Latino. And in case you weren't wondering, that is a lead change. If you didn't understand all that stuff, it is a lead change, so hydrate or die. Drink your drink. Y si están viendo esta transmisión en vivo en casa, Cuando se intercambian los puntos entre los equipos y uh, pues hay más puntos a, a un juego, un jugador, tienen que tomar cualquier bebida que tengan, agua, cerveza, jugo, lo que tengan, tienen que tomar. All right, jam number nine coming up as this team timeout winds down. Fighting Girlfriend says we got five seconds until we start derby. And I believe Dr. Blatt wearing the star for the sandwich is Senior Poo Poo. Jam a record for Fuego Latino. We got a scrum start just inching across that Clover Cup pivot line. And then everybody decides, let's go on the other side of the Clover Cup penalty line. And Dr. Blatt pushes that wall of purple past turn one and a half. Peace War with that derby kiss and the jammer takeout. 
And Senior Pupu in that confusion grabs lead jammer status coming out of turn two. Senior Pupu on a scoring pass. Trying to put some points in the pocket for the Fuego. Dr. Blatt still stuck behind that wall of purple, anchored by Peace War. <laughs> Effie Bomber. And no mames. No mames. <laughs> Señor Pupu está uh, regresando para hacer otros cuatro puntos. Uh, parece que intercambiaron uh, capas. Man, that purple defense were uh, mm -hmm. amazing in that jam. <laughs> 12 points to the fire, yeah. 50 to 37. So amazed that, you know, there are no words. All right, getting set up for GM 10 here between Fuego Latino and the Sandwiches. Five second call is being called by Fighting Girlfriend. And we have $5 foot long going against Effie Bomber. $5 foot long out on the outside lane, given lead. Meanwhile, Effie Bomber taken to the inside lane, returns back to come in legally, brings their cap off to find their pivot. It looks like UP. SA almost was past the cover, maybe, and is given jammer change. So UPSA now is the jammer for Fuego Latino going up against $5 footlong. $5 footlong decides to call it, saying, I think I've made enough points for right now. Looks like eight points were made for the sandwiches, bringing up their score to 45 to Fuego Latino's 50, being held scoreless in the last jam so yeah five point game with 15 and a half minutes left in this first half y para los que están viendo la transmisión en vivo en casa no más faltan cinco puntos para que los uh, sandwiches llegan a fuego latino y en este próximo encuentro sacan a bandito burrito contra Halloween para fuego latino Aquí tenemos a Halloween atrás de, la, de los jugadores, mientras que Bandito Burrito lo tienen al frente. Bandito Burrito sale por adentro, mientras que Halloween sale por afuera y tiene lead para Fuego Latino. Pero parece que los dos jammers están correteando para regresar a hacer sus puntos. Uh. Y ya que llegó Halloween, llama el juego. Vamos a ver cuántos puntos hizo Halloween en ese encuentro. Parece que no hicieron ningún punto, en, ningún punto se hicieron en ese juego. Así que quedamos a 50, 50 para Juego Latino y 45 para Cow Squad. Which, what does that mean? It was, They just like sandwiches. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah, it was a scoreless jam. <laughs> Nothing but good vibes. Yeah. <laughs> Which I believe that's the first scoreless jam between the two, so it's pretty good. We'll check with our ghost producer and find out in just a second. Carmen Lettrack, we're in the star for the fire, going up against Dr. Blatt with the avocado. Dr. Blatt out front and lead. Carmen Lettrack, not that far behind. Maybe 10 feet, maybe 20 but catching up fast. And Dr. Black goes ahead and calls it off. So I guess we're just gonna have a string of scoreless jams for a minute. Yeah, they don't wanna give up points. It's a pretty close game so far. Still got 13.20 left to go in this first half. You guys are being selfish, give us points. Yes. Although I do like defensive gyms like that. Yeah. Five second call. And off we go. We have Senor Poo Poo going against Fluffer Cutter for the sandwiches. Everybody at the jammer line just 
slowly moving up track to the pivot line. Senor Pupu just spinning around everybody and out with lead for Fuego Latino. Fluffer Cutter, meanwhile, is being held to the back. Cal Squad on full offense right now, but Senor Pupu coming back around, so they have to quickly go back into some defensive formation. Almost not well, no. Senor Pupu gets knocked to the inside lane, says, you know what? I made my points, I'm gonna call it, and I'm gonna go back and sit and look pretty. <laughs> yes, take your two, go back to the bench, breathe a little bit. Yeah. It's all good. 52 points for Fuego Latino, keeping the sandwiches at 45 points with 12 minutes left in the first half. This whole tournament and this game brought to you by Arizona Roller Derby. Thank you so much for what you do for Roller Derby. $5 footlong wearing the star for the sandwiches going up against Miss Tay for the fire. $5 footlong out front and lead. Mistake is going to pass that star over to UPSA, a.k.a. G.I. Joel. UPSA is going to force that call off. $5 foot long is going to take four points and go back to the house. I think he has, like, a pretty good, uh, like, lead percentage so far. I don't think I've seen him ever go to the box or lose lead, so... Super Cal clean, squad. super clean, yeah. super fast. Very nice. What's your favorite $5 foot long? I don't like Subway. I'm sorry. We had that conversation with somebody else yesterday. Oh. Uh, Subway's not a big fan here, I guess. I don't. I don't like the smell of the place. Anyways, uh, $5 foot long out again. <laughs> Speaking of, with lead against Effie Bomber, who's running Effie. up track and going up against one more blocker who is just holding them <laughs> oh, and knocking maker. them out to the My outside. My gosh. Just recycling them. Peace War just knocks them out of the way. <laughs> that was some instant karma. Oof. <laughs> Anyways, $5 boom, boom, foot boom. <laughs> Yeah, $5 <laughs> foot long makes three points there in that last jam. Bringing them up to a tied game. 52 wow. to 52 between the sandwiches and Fuego Latino. I hope it ends like this. I want to see an overtime jam so, so bad. Well, we can only hope and pray. And off we go to the next jam. Dr. Blatt going up against Holly Ween for Fuego Latino. Holly Ween almost making it out on the outside lane, but gets knocked and recycled back to the back of the pack, while Dr. Blatt is assigned lead after successfully exiting the pack and returning for four points. Meanwhile, UPSA is coming back up with the star in hand, but just as he puts it on and approaches the pack, Dr. Black calls the jam after making a squeaky clean four points for them. Lead change. Lead change. Everybody hydrate or die. 56 points for the sandwiches and 52 for Fuego Latino. And that jam was brought to you by our good friends over at Oh My Quad, your only skate shop in northern Arizona, specializing in all things roller skates and accessories. Run by Halloween and Joy Destroya. They have over 15 years of skating experience. That is Oh My Quad. And back to the action we have Senor Pupu going up against Bendito Burrito. Para los que están viendo en casa, estamos viendo un juego contra Senor Pupu y Bandito Burrito. Bandito Burrito lo están mandan, la están mandando para atrás otra vez, mientras que Señor Pupu está peleando para regresar y uh, mantenerse enfrente, empujando contra estos patinadores. Le falta uno más, se mantiene adentro de la pista, ahora nomás le falta otro, pero la reforma de esta defensa enfrente está que pues apenas salió por afuera aquí. Tenemos señor Pupu que ya tiene uh, asignado lead. Mientras tanto, tenemos a Bandito Burrito todavía atrás. La defensa de Fuego Latino los están manteniendo todavía en su primera uh, etapa de este juego y no van a poder hacer puntos hasta que pasen esos dos jugadores enfrente. Mientras tanto, tenemos a señor Pupu que está haciendo sus puntos, ya cuatro. La cancha le están diciendo que sigue patinando para hacer más puntos. Muy bien. 
I Senior Poo Poo grabbing those four Sorry. points and putting it in the pocket. Yeah, four points. Uh, Senior Poo Poo just being told to keep the jam going, keep skating, keep making those laps because it looks like Bandito Burrito is still working on their initial here. The, the Fuego Latino defense is just working hard on that pinch here. Just beautiful reformations of the tripod here up at the front. And, you know, Senior Poo Poo said, he said I'm two scoring it. laps were enough. We yeah. don't want to get the third one. Yeah, you know, conserve your energy. I'm right here next to the box. I might as well call it off. <laughs> yeah, so after that exchange, we have eight points on the board there for Fuego Latino, keeping sandwiches at zero. So we are now at 60 points for Fuego, 56 for the sandwiches, which is a lead change again. Drink your drink, be hydrated. Yes. Fluffer Cutter, now we're in the star for the sandwiches going up against Karma. Let track for the fire. Somebody called for a high block. Yeah, that's Knuckle Sandwich. Karma Let track coming around on a scoring pass. Does a little apex jump and lands uh, it, but no. not quite lands it. That is a cut track being assigned to Karma Electrack. Nitro with those eagle eyes saw exactly where that skate landed. Yeah. So I know it was a good call. Bummer, what does that mean? Who's out there? Who's making points? So many whistles, so confused. Anyways. You know, we, <laughs> we got like a steady line to the 187 killer pad spindly box. Ooh, that was a beautiful little slide for Fluffer Cutter. But as I say that, they are assigned a cut track. So we have a jammer do -si do Absolutely. We see the release of Karma Electrack here back onto the track up against the Slammages who are ready to receive them. Fuego Latino going on full offense now. And let's Carmen Electric out. Did you see Knuckle Slamuch being sent back to the box? So it's a two to three pack advantage. Nope, two to two. Everybody has a <laughs> couple players in the box so far. Do you see the return of the jammer for Cal Squad, which is Fluffer Cutter still, who takes the inside lane and does get four points on the board. Carmen Electric now being recycled to the back. And we do see the return of Fluffer Cutter here. Ooh, nice hit to that blocker for Fuego Latino, who is down. All right, so we have a skater down. We're going to take a moment to have the skater be assessed by our medics. We're just going to take a moment, as I said, for the medics to assess the skater down. In the meantime, in that last exchange, eight points were made by Fuego Latino, six points for the Slamwiches. We have 68 for Fuego, 62 for the Sandwiches. All right, make some noise for Prima. Yeah, back on their skates and being uh, assisted by their teammates back to the medics uh, corner there to get proper treatment off track. Thank you, medics, for all that you do and for keeping our skaters safe and assessing them when they are not so safe. Gotta love our medics. And Yvette, Yvette providing high school and adult students with the advanced skills and training needed to thrive in today's competitive job market. Get career training at evit.edu. Still got a little under five minutes left to go in this first half, 68 to 62. The fire on top at the moment. 
And then it looks like a pretty even spread of penalties between the two teams. Uh, nobody so far in too much danger of being fouled out. Maybe one player a piece that might have like four penalties so far. Um, so the name of the game right now is uh, risk management. Absolutely. Well, you're always trying to play that. Exactly. <laughs> Five second call, we're going back to a timeout as that five second call was being made. I believe, who made that timeout call? I don't know, Never mind. It was just a momentary distraction. Body girlfriend wanted to show everybody who's in charge of this stuff. <laughs> and we're off, jam number 19, who do we got on the line there? Mistake, we're in the star for the fire. $5 foot long, jammer record for the sandwiches. Again, with lead. He's definitely got a lead, like a high scoring lead percentage at this point. And UPSA has the star on their head. Meanwhile, $5 foot long out for their four points. Skating backwards and calling it off with style. Lots of style. <laughs> so four points on the board for the sandwiches, bringing them up to 67 points. Fuego Latino is held scoreless at 68. It's a one point jam and a timeout has been called with four minutes left in this first half between the sandwiches and Fuego Latino. This timeout's brought to our good friends over at Tiffany and Bosco, proud sponsor of Arizona Roller Derby. Trial lawyer Will Fishback and his pack of all-star attorneys will deliver a grand slam to any courtroom bout and send their adversaries home with rink rash. For more information, find them at tblaw.com. Also want to talk about our good friends there in Texas. Get ready for the most epic roller derby event of the year, Clover Cup 2025, hosted by the Dallas Derby Devils right around the corner. Join us as we celebrate two decades of derby excellence, marking the Dallas Derby Devils 20th anniversary since their founding in November 2004. You don't want to miss this electrifying showdown. For more information, visit clovercut.com. Y ustedes en casa que están viendo la transmisión en vivo, si tienen un patinador favorito, pues dinos ahí en el chat para poder uh, pues mandarles su mensaje. Are you going to come down to Texas and talk roller derby with us? Maybe. That would be cool. Probably. <laughs> I'll think about it. Okay. But who's out on the track? Uh, that is $5 foot long and Epi Bomber. Effie Bomber doing some real work today for the fire. Sandwiches are going to lose a blocker to the 187 penalty box. And Effie's going to go ahead and pass that starter UPSA. UPSA grabbing out front. But $5 foot long is your lead jammer and calls it off. <laughs> so he maintained his lead jammer status and like his stats are still uh, intact yes but upsa did uh take the star in that quick star pass so uh he didn't get lead but he did get out first and force the call off another We're gonna timeout have another official timeout this official timeout is brought to you by 187 killer pads Proud sponsor of our penalty box, often imitated, never duplicated, stick with the best, worn by the most pros in the world. If you skate, you know why. 187 Killer Pads, industrial strength materials, unmatched ergonomic design, and unparalleled excellence. That is 187 Killer Pads. Also by our good friends at Rehab Lab Arizona. Whether you're struggling with pain or looking to enhance your athletic performance, you need a doctor who cares about your goals and will treat you the way you want to be treated. Dr. Ben uses his wide range of skills to help weekend warriors and pro athletes alike. Move better, move awesome. That is Rehab Lab Arizona. We're gonna take a little dance break here while the officials have a conversation in the middle. So we'll just shake out the shake out the nerves, shake off the adrenaline a little, have your drink. Chris Cross will make you jump. <laughs> UPSA 
Yo quiero ver a alguien bailando en esta pista, ¿ok? Alguien de Fuego Latino tiene que estar bailando ahorita. <laughs> Absolutely. Sí, me están oyendo porque parecen que están preocupados. Looks like. Anybody you want to give a shout out to out there, or maybe Ooh. watching on the Twitch? Looks like there was an official timeout called with a potential for a official review win for Cal Squad because Senor Pupo previously had the star on their head and had to relinquish that back to, I believe that was Effie Bomber who's now in the box. Well, all that discussion's over with. Yeah, so it looks like a, it's a power start for Cal Squad now. Only one point separating these two teams as this jam starts with 317 left on the clock. $5 foot long jumps out front and grabs lead jammer status. Effie Bomber, jammer record for the Fuego Latino. Starts in the box, as I see. Power start, power jam situation for a $5 foot long. Yeah, valiant, just defensive effort for Fuego Latino against $5 foot long, who's pretty hard to contain due to their height and skill level here. Uh, they're pretty good at uh, finding the seams and finding the lines successfully, just as we see there, taking the outside lane and out with four points. Meanwhile, we do see Senor Pupu with the star in hand after being past the star. The jammer returned from the box. And it looks like the star was now passed. But that sends Senor Pupu to the penalty box. That might have been an improper pass. I'm not sure. So this is a power jam for Cal Squad. And they're being told by their bench to keep it going. $5 foot long has nothing but time. And by nothing but time, I mean less than 40 seconds. <laughs> but that's a ton of time. We're just skating laps about every five seconds. Yeah, look at that. 20 points so far being racked up by the sandwiches, which is so far a lead change. Lead change, yeah. <laughs> Five dollar foot long says that's enough. That's yeah, a 24 point jam. Left. I'm going back to my bench. Yeah, three seconds left in that jam just calls it. It's kind of, you know, pretty boss move in my opinion. After making 24 points for the sandwiches, I believe that's the highest scoring jam for them. Bringing up the score to 91 against Fuego Latino's 68. There's less than a minute left in this first half. But we also know that fire burns everything, even sandwiches. <laughs> That's true. Dr. Blatt out front and lead. Carmen Electrack not that far behind. Clear on the initial. Looking to score some points. Dr. Blatt with the avocado in there instead of the and tomato. It should be AAT then. Yeah. <laughs> this is a race right now between the two teams. They're just trying to catch up to each other. Dr. Blood just keeping an eye on time, letting their team know, hey, let's keep it going. Let's keep racing. Let's try to grab a few points. Because it looks like Carmel Electrack is still a whole lap behind right now. And yeah. Wow. Good, good clock management there from Cal Squad uh, to maintain their lead, not giving Fuego Latino any opportunities there. We're going to take a look and see if there's any chance for one last jam in this first half before going into intermission. We're still at 91 points to Fuego Latino's 68. No points were made in that last one, looks like. And intermission. No, we started the nope. jam. Well, they gave me the wrong information on this board. <laughs> I don't know. I just read what's on the, on the board. That's going to take us to half time. <laughs> Thank you, fighting girlfriend. Let's give that a second. Uh, we might still get one more jam in the half. Let's just chill for a second. Everybody wants one more jam. Y'all want one more jam? I want to hear it in the stands. Do you want one more jam? They're not listening to us. It's pretty us. lukewarm. So, They're not yeah. listening They're not going to get that last jam, no. 
They don't deserve it. I heard nothing. That's going to take us to halftime. Make sure you get some snacky snacks and some hydration. Para los que están viendo en casa, vamos a regresar en menos de 14 minutos para la próxima mitad de este juego entre Fuego Latino y Cow Squad. See you in a little bit. Artlist I.O. Licensing Reimagined. Licensing reimagined. that your head is not normal. No one's is. Head shapes are as unique as fingerprints. So choosing a helmet that's custom to you is the best way to keep you safe while playing derby. A lot of us have spent most of our derby careers wearing a helmet that's the same size shell, whether you're a size small, medium, large, or extra large. One size fits all doesn't work for our feet and it definitely doesn't work for your head. Roller derby helmets are designed to absorb and disperse the force of impact using EPS foam, which is scientifically designed to fit close to your head, allowing it to protect your head by crumpling or compressing upon impact. So here's the thing. If your helmet size is a small, but you're wearing the same shell size as your teammate who's an XL, not only does it look kind of funny, the functionality of the EPS foam and how it disperses impact energy is compromised. So no matter how much foam you stuff into your helmet to make it stay put, you're more at risk for head injuries, putting you at risk. The Triple Eight Certified Sweat Saver comes in better shell size options than our leading competitor, giving you the highest level of protection upon impact. Licensing reimagined. Art 
Bliss.io Music licensing reimagined. Artlist.io Music license List IO Music Licensing Reimagined. Know that your head is not normal. No one's is. Head shapes are as unique as fingerprints, so choosing a helmet that's custom to you is the best way to keep you safe while playing derby. A lot of us have spent most of our derby careers wearing a helmet that's the same size shell, whether you're a size small, medium, large, or extra large. One size fits all doesn't work for our feet, and it definitely doesn't work for your head. Roller Derby helmets are designed to absorb and disperse the force of impact using EPS foam, which is scientifically designed to fit close to your head, allowing it to protect your head by crumpling or compressing upon impact. So here's the thing. If your helmet size is a small, but you're wearing the same shell size as your teammate who's an XL, not only does it look kind of funny, the functionality of the EPS foam and how it disperses impact energy is compromised. So no matter how much foam you stuff into your helmet to make it stay put, you're more at risk for head injuries, putting you at risk. The 888 Certified Sweat Saver comes in better shell size options than our leading competitor, giving you the highest level of protection upon impact. Music licensing reimagined. Artlist IO Music Lice List IO Music Licensing Reimagined.
music licensing reimagined. Did you know that your head is not normal? No one's is. Head shapes are as unique as fingerprints, so choosing a helmet that's custom to you is the best way to keep you safe while playing derby. A lot of us have spent most of our derby careers wearing a helmet that's the same size shell, whether you're a size small, medium, large, or extra large. One size fits all doesn't work for our feet, and it definitely doesn't work for your head. Roller Derby helmets are designed to absorb and disperse the force of impact using EPS foam, which is scientifically designed to fit close to your head, allowing it to protect your head by crumpling or compressing upon impact. So here's the thing. If your helmet size is a small, but you're wearing the same shell size as your teammate who's an XL, not only does it look kind of funny, the functionality of the EPS foam and how it disperses impact energy is compromised. So no matter how much foam you stuff into your helmet to make it stay put, you're more at risk for head injuries, putting you at risk. The Triple Eight Certified Sweat Saver comes in better shell size options than our leading competitor, giving you the highest level of protection upon impact. Artlist I.O. again and we're on air we Look. are on air yeah do you want to thank you for watching if you're at home watching on the twitch i am johnny pepper and i'm vampira and we're going to bring you this second half which promises to be a awesome game right now it stands sandwich 91 fuego latino at 68 uh but this has been a super super close game we've had about six lead changes so I expect six more during this second half. Yeah. Stick around. Hopefully we're going to have an overtime jam for you. <laughs> I lit some sage. I did a little altar. We I talked with my higher power. We'll see what happens. Bring it into the ether. From the ether into yes. the Yes. We manifest greatness every time we think about it. Yes. Manifestations. Other than that, I've had a blast calling with you today. I appreciate it. I was very excited to be told that I'd be announcing this game because <laughs> I don't know if you noticed. I'm kind of a Latina myself, so maybe I'm a little biased. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> but so far, penalty-wise, it looks like it's pretty spread out so far. Nobody's at risk uh, to being you know, ejected quite yet. Um, where do we stand here? No more than four penalties for the skaters who do have the most penalties. Um, we won't say who, but if you know, you know. I mean, if, if you can see the board that's up there, you can see for yourself. But yeah, overall, uh, it's going to be a second half of just, you know, mining your P's and Q's, making your points trying to make this as close a game as possible. It's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. Sometimes. Not all the time. Yeah. I'm not nice. I gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> but we are getting ready for the second half of this game between the Sandwiches, which is made up of the Cal Squad Roller Derby team out of California, and Fuego Latino, made up of Latinx people from everywhere from everywhere from other teams coming together I love it when everybody comes together echo 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 do you hear that we yeah we're having a little bit it's on mic too yeah it's my mic I'm the problem I'm the problem you're not the problem it's the feedback loop in there fine okay I won't take responsibility Para los que están viendo la transmisión en vivo en el canal de Twitch para Arizona Roller Derby, 
Uh, muchas gracias por continuar ver esta transmisión entre el juego contra Cal Squad y Fuego Latino. Como ven, estamos a 91 puntos para los sándwiches y 68 para Fuego Latino. Uh, y vamos a empezar el primer juego del segundo periodo. Tenemos, tenemos a Dr. Blatt en la pista contra Karma Electrack. Fuego Latino tiene contenido a Dr. Blatt. Y parece que ya nomás le falta uno y sale por, de, por adentro. Mientras tanto, Karma Electrack se quitó la estrella y le pasó la estrella a Peace War. Peace War que está tratando de encontrar camino por afuera. Pero uh, sí está mantenida enfrente. Ya nomás le falta unos jugadores más pero la regresan para atrás. Mientras tanto, Dr. Blatt ya está um, regresando para hacer sus puntos aquí. La defensa ahora está terminando haciendo ofensa para Dr. Blatt. Mientras tanto, estamos viendo el regreso de Peace War, pero no regresa a tiempo. Y llama el juego. Dr. Black, ya después de que hizo cuatro puntos para los sándwiches, ahora tenemos 95 puntos contra los 68 de Fuego Latino. Dr. Black pitting up four points on that last chance. As the fires held scoreless, Peace War taken over from Carmel Electrack. And jam number two of the second half is underway with Bandito Burrito wearing the star for the sandwiches and mistake the jammer record for the Fuego. We got a multiplayer block called on. Mecca Rib is back. Looks like it's a power jam, Pepper. It is a power jam. Bandito Burrito off to the penalty box for an infraction. Has a mistake out there. Grabbing Lee Jammer status for the Fago. Oh. Uh, jammer Josie -si Doe. Called for a track cut. Yeah, and as you know, each jammer serves the amount of time that the previous jammer uh, served in the box. So we should see Mistake coming out shortly. So yeah. Fuego Latino has to kill this penalty. What kind of... Uh, strategy are they employing pepper what's going on they're trying to spread that track that that pack out but you're gonna have to let go if you do that unless you build a couple bridges yeah we got a no earned pass call out there on bandito burrito Ooh. out of the and a forearm so we're just passing out penalties is what we're doing right now as mistakes out there taking laps four points Looks like we do see... You're going to call out something good for a blocker? Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. Yes, uh, you are. <clears throat> well, it looks like there is a penalty uh, foul out risk for the captain of Fuego Latino. That is No Mames. Uh, it looks like they just turned yellow, so uh, definitely will need to watch their penalties from okay. here on out. Uh, we do see the return of Bandito Burrito, who takes the inside lane almost unopposed. Halloween coming back in, offering some offensive hits here for their jammer. And that concludes <laughs> the jam. Wow. That is a good way to end the jam. With a nice good hit. Leave a statement. Halloween laying some stuff down there at the end of that jam. <laughs> like Just to get see it out. that. <laughs> 26 minutes left to go in this contest, 95 to 72, 74. Yeah, six points for Fuego Latino. Absolutely. Grabbing those six on that last jam. $5 <gasps> foot long going up against Effie Bomber. Yeah, and as we know, a uh, $5 foot long uh, just has the skills to just find those seams, break them up, and just keep going. Peace War directing that bridge ah, building. Beautiful. Nice. What happened there, Pepper? Uh, they were bridging out, and they knocked $5 foot long to the infield, forced him to recycle, but it only held for a little bit. <laughs> but that was nice. Yeah. I watch, I like watching Peace War direct that building to that bridge. You stay here. You stay here. <laughs> you go there. 
Absolutely. Communication is key, guys. It's like Peace and Word's going to take a 30 second recess from that awesome defense and that bridge building. Mm. Was it a worth it penalty, though? Who knows? I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the success of Doc, uh, $5 Foot Long. Uh, who made eight points there on the board for the sandwiches, bringing their score up to 103. They have hit the century mark, keeping Fuego Latino at 74. And a timeout is being called. This timeout is brought to you by Tiffany and Bosco, a proud sponsor of Arizona Roller Derby Trial. Lawyers will fish back, and his pack of all-star attorneys will deliver a grand slam to any courtroom bout. Send their adversaries home with rink rash. For more information, Find them at tblaw.com. Also want to thank our incredible sound guy, some Puerto Rican guy, for doing an awesome job all weekend, making us sound good. Thank you so much. Also had the opportunity at uh, USARS Nationals to have some Puerto Rican guy as a roommate, and he's an awesome roommate as well. Always kind and conservative. Love that. You want to stick around for this mashup we're going to have after this? What about that mashup, Vampire? It's the Flash Floods versus the Haboobs, which, you know, we haven't really had much of a Flash Flood around here, but we have had a Haboob risk here, which, if you don't know what a Haboob is, is really just a really large, just ominous looking sand cloud from all the wind being kicked up from the uh, storms coming in? Yes. When that wind comes over the mountains. Yep. In the past, before Arizona had any trees, we had even worse haboobs. The sands storms were even worse. So. Looks all like right, that down skater lead under their own power, which is awesome to see. Take our opportunity to thank our medics. Thank you so much for what you do, Yvette. Almost ready to get back to the roller derby action. We got 24.50 left to go in this game. 103 to 74 as this official timeout comes to a close. Next whistle is going to start the jam. Looks like we got Senior Poo Poo wearing the star for the Fuego and Dr. Blatt jamming a record for the sandwiches. Senior Poo Poo out front and lead coming out of turn two with lead jammer status. Dr. Blatt does get clear on the initial. Putting that bacon lettuce avocado tomato sandwich into a scoring pass, but Senior Poo Poo says that's not going to happen. I'm going to call it off and stop that. Yeah, you take a little spill and uh, you know it's over. You got to you got to call it. No points for you guys. Only me. My points. Holding them scoreless is exactly what the fire needs to do to get back in this game. 103 to 78 with 23 minutes left to go in the contest. Five second call. Everybody just getting nice and cozy up against the jammer line here. Do you see mistake taking the inside lane with the hop and a skip against $5 footlong for once not lead, but runs up to catch up to mistake, trying to force the call off, I'm assuming. But everybody reaching <laughs> up to the pack now. <laughs> nice. Yep. Call off is forced. It's kind of hard to uh, not want to call it off after, you know, having a, another person's jammer attached to you. So a scoreless jam. I can tell they're smiling because I can see all their mouth guards. <laughs> yeah, so 103 still for the sandwiches and 78 for Fuego Latino with 23 minutes left in the second half. Gearing up for jam number six. Jam number six underway right now. Little scrum start. Everybody getting ready for action, I believe. Effie Bomber jumps out, grabs that lead jammer status, though. Fluffer cutter not that far behind. 
but that purple defense swarms and fluffer cutter called for a track cut that's a power jam for effie Effie takes a derby kiss from the boogeyman out to the outfield. Recycled back. Effie Bomber with a little help does get through. Picks up four points on that scoring pass. And quickly skates around and comes up on the pack one more time. Beautiful defensive work for Tout Squad here up at the front, but UPSA is going in for the offense. Uh, but that does open up a lane for Fluffer Cutter on the outside. That forces the call off for Fuego Latino after making six points on the board, bringing them up to 84, keeping the sandwiches at 103. Senior Poopoo is going to wear the star for the Fuego. Going up against Dr. Blatt in what will be jam number seven of the second half. With 21-15 left to go in the contest. Senior Poopoo grabs lead jammer status rolling across the Clover Cup pivot line. That is a very, very Nice little out. Uh, all right, so pure offense now for Fuego, which turns into D real quick. But just as I say that, the jam is called off by Senor Pupu after being a uh, good little jammer and calls it at two points for Fuego Latino, 86 now. Sandwich is being held scoreless for the last three jams so far, looks like if my memory serves right. I bet you're right. Maybe. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> Next jam underway. Bendito Burrito wearing the star for the sandwiches going up against Mistake. I want to hear another Spanish call. Can you call this jam in Spanish? Sure. Ahora que vemos aquí, tenemos a Mistake fuera con lead para su equipo. Regresando a los jugadores para hacer sus puntos. Uh, trata de encontrar camino por afuera, pero sí fue uh, mandada para afuera. Ahora vemos a Bandito Burrito regresando. Ellos van a tratar de hacer sus puntos, pero la cancha le dicen que ya llame el juego, ya que hizo sus puntos. Ahora tenemos cuatro puntos para Fuego Latino. Los trae ahora a 90. Y los sándwiches se quedan a 103. Y parece que allí uh, un fan le están diciendo que más defensa, más defensa. <laughs> y vamos a regresar al juego. Aquí tenemos $5 footlong. Brinca, pero lo mandan para adentro. Mientras tanto, tenemos a Karma Electrac tratando de uh, encontrar el mismo camino que tiene Five Dollar Footlong, pero sale Five Dollar Footlong con lead para Cal Squad. Um, y sale Karma Electrac también. Tiene que regresar a los patinadores antes de que llame el juego el Five Dollar Footlong, pero para que ven, si están viendo en la transmisión en vivo, Five Dollar Foot Long tiene nada más que pierna. Así que corren y pues ya llegan al, a los jugadores y ya llamó el juego. Pues ahí estamos a 107 para los sándwiches y Fuego Latino se queda a 90 puntos. Tenemos menos de 18 minutos en este segundo periodo de este juego contra los dos equipos. Bravo. I try. 107 and 90, 18 minutes left to go in the contest. Fluffer Cutter out front and lead. Effie Barmer to the jammer record for the fire. It's gonna stash that star and pass it off to UPSA. UPSA now the jammer record for Fuego Latino. And Fluffer Cutter says that's enough and calls it off. 
picks up those four points, 111 to 90 with 17 and a half minutes left to go in this game. I can't remember who said it in the chat, but someone commented on the cute little bear ears on the helmet of one of the Cal squad. Yeah, just Dave. Yeah, just Dave. <laughs> very adorable just know that the chat sees your efforts and they appreciate them absolutely i love beer ears on everybody everybody should wear bear ears all the time <laughs> all right we're back to the action we have senor poo poo going against dr blatt for the sandwiches poo out on the outside lane is signed lead ahora vamos a ver el regreso de senor poo poo para hacer sus puntos uh, no mantenió sus pies um, adelante, pues se cae un, por un momento y pues fue suficiente para forzar que uh, termine ese juego antes de que llegara el otro uh, jammer del otro equipo. Así que hizo sus dos puntos y llamó el juego. Ahora tenemos 92 puntos para Fuego Latino y se quedan los sándwiches a 111 con menos de 16 minutos y medio en el segundo periodo de este juego. Which just basically means that we are now at 111 against Fuego Latino's 92. Yes, that's exactly what it means. <laughs> and who do we have on the track? Bandito Burrito wearing the star for the sandwiches out front and lead. Miss Day, not that far behind. Out on their initial. Clear on the initial and ready to score some points. Bandito Burrito working the inside lane, and here's their bench to call it, I believe. Yeah, yeah, that's like two points that they made for their efforts there, bringing them up to 113 and just keeping Fuego Latino at 92. It's not that uh, insurmountable of a point differential, though, so. Fuego no. Latino just really needs to, I guess, contain these jammers at this point and uh, just let their jammers do the job that they were told to do. I did some things. Some we're things. We're going to have a tie jam at the end of this. I hope you're right. But on the track, we have $5 footlong going up against the pack at the front of the lane, but just basically rips the seams up and is assigned lead. Meanwhile, Karma Electrak just passes the star to Peace War, who has uh, worked their way up to the front of the pack and gets some offensive assist, but is dragged to the back, recycled by a uh, blocker from Cal Squad. We do see the return of number 31 for Fuego Latino to return to their uh, blocker duties here for Fuego. Now it's a jammer race between $5 <laughs> Footlong and Peace War. <laughs> $5 footlong making alligator <laughs> arms and calls it, uh, you know, just a little friendly uh, chase here. Nice. <laughs> very, very nice. So $5 footlong picking up eight points and the love of every announcer across the world on that jam. I don't know. Jammers just know how to entertain. Uh, if yes. You're, if you're a jammer, you have some sort of quirk, and that's not your fault. We pay attention to things like that. That's what we do. <laughs> All right. Who do we have for this next jam? We got Fluffer Cutter wearing the star for the sandwiches, and Effie Bomber is out front and lead rolling across the Clover Cup pivot line. Exactly what Fuego Latino needed. The fire is going to lose a blocker to the 187 penalty box as Fluffer Cutter does get clear on the initial. Effie Bomber working hard against that defense at the front of the pack. That Cal squad defense is swarming. Effie Bomber called for a forearm. That is a power jam the other way. So this jam will go for the full two minutes, which has a minute and 10 seconds left in it. Flover cutter through, picking up four points. And uh, this is solidly a power jam because it looks like the both the jammer and the pivot are in the box currently. Uh, but we do see the jammer standing, uh, which we'll see the return of Effie Bomber to the track here. Uh, but it's all them now. 
Ooh, beautiful apex jump from Fluffer Cutter, earning them another four points for Cal Squad. Meanwhile, Effie now being dragged to the inside lane, but gets some offense from their team, who quickly turns into a tripod to receive Fluffer Cutter here. Effie Bomber does get taken to the back here, and Fluffer out. We do see UPSA just tracking which job he might be doing, which is slowing down Fluffer Cutter and leading them back into the loving arms of the Fuego Latino de defensive formation. Effie Bomber has one more to beat after a few Cal Squad blockers being sent to the box. A lot of whistles. And that's the end of the jam. 24 points on that jam for the sandwiches. And it seems like every time Fuego Latino catches up, the sandwiches, the sandwiches run off a 24 point jam and take off again. Yeah. So 145 sandwiches, 96 for Fuego Latino. There is 11 and a half minutes left in the second half, though. Plenty of time for another momentum shift. But in the meantime, we have an official timeout being called. And we'll give that a moment to figure out what that official timeout is for. This official timeout is brought to you by Rehab Lab Arizona. Whether you're struggling with pain or looking to enhance your athletic performance, you need a doctor who cares about your goals and will treat you the way you want to be treated. Dr. Ben uses his wide range of skills to help weekend warriors and pro athletes alive. Move better, move stronger, and heal faster. Go to Rehab Lab Arizona and book an appointment today. Also by our good friends over at EG's, a volunteer sponsor. Take it easy, have it EG. This month's flavor is Monsoon. Stop in and call off. That's at EG's.com. It is the last day of the month, is it not? Yes. So if you want a Monsoon flavor at EG, you better go get it today. Because I'm sure they're going to have another flavor of the month tomorrow. Such as uh, most things, uh, most beautiful things, they have to end. I like it when they keep going. Well, we can't <laughs> have everything. And now we have a team timeout being called by Fuego Latino. They just need some time to regroup. And this team out is brought to you by the coolest AV club in the whole wide world. Our AV club bringing this stream to you free on the Twitch. I love our AV club. Thanks, guys. Absolutely. <laughs> ah. What? Should we have a dance break? We should have a dance break. Turn some music on there. Hey, we want some music. Psst. If you want some music, make some noise. Nobody or not. Noise. You don't have to. That's fine. You don't have to. Everybody dance now. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> All right. I think that's the end of that time yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. The announcers are starting to sing. Let's cut this time out short. <laughs> Yeah, because we want more derby. Yes. All right, so looking at those penalties um, so far, it looks like there's a, a few players on. They're tied. The <laughs> <laughs> They're tied in penalties. <laughs> tied in penalties, which is not always uh. a good thing. Uh, but we do see $5 foot long out on the track here, trying to be forced to the outside lane. It looks like Whiskey just giving them the business forcing them out, but the pivot for Cal Squad had their number and just took them out. So, $5 foot long out on a uh, no That pass. was Vegemite. Vegemite doing the work that they were needed for. Uh, $5 foot long just takes them down, out for four points. I don't see lead assess to them, so might be a full two minute jam, maybe. Peace War with the start on their head now for the Fuego Latino team. Peace War coming up, trying to look for their offense, but gets knocked the in a little. Then back to the out. Finds some room on the outside lane. Gains some speed to try to go up against the uh, cute little bear ears up at the front. Just Mayo. Just Mayo. <laughs> well, the Cow Squad tripod now has recycled Peace War to the inside all the way back to the back. 
Uh, $5 footlong, meanwhile, has spun out of the defense for Fuego Latino, making another four points for the, the sandwiches. They have about 35 seconds left in the new ham. No lead assessed, remember, so it's, full, it's been a full two minutes. So he's just, you know, chilling, making their points. Ahora que vemos aquí, Fuego Latino ya salió por adentro. Hicieron cuatro puntos. Peace War regresando, tratando de hacer uh, lo demás para estos últimos segundos en este juego. Tratando de hacer más de, más de cuatro puntos aquí. Pero ya terminó esa etapa. Y ahora siete puntos para Fuego Latino, trayéndolos a 103 pero 20 puntos para los sándwiches y ahora están a 165. Así que tienen mucho trabajo Fuego Latino para hacer uh, la diferencia que uh, ha hecho los sándwiches con nueve minutos que quedan en este segundo periodo de este juego. Nine minutes left to make up that difference. Muy bien, muy bien. Dr. Blatt, where are the star for the sandwiches going up against Senior Pupu? Dr. Black grabbing lead jammer status, crossing over that clover cut penalty, uh, pivot line, penalty line, pivot line. Dr. Black coming up on a scoring pass as Senior Poo Poo clears on the initial. A lot of defense happening over here, right in front of our table. Dr. Black does get out and clear with four points in the pocket. I love Senior Poo Poo picks up four as well. Go ahead. I love a front row seat. Keep it going. Keep it going. Absolutely. So many whistles. And four whistles are going to rain down and bring that jam to a close. Six points to the sandwiches, four points to the fire. Six points to the fire. Six points to the sandwiches. 171 to 109 with a little less than eight minutes left to go in that. Bow. Bow, bow, bow. This is game number 10. Number 10? How yes. many more games are there today? There's one more game today. That's going to be a matchup that's going to take place probably 20 minutes right after this game. Yeah. And on the track, we have Mistake going against Bandito Burrito, but Mistake out on the inside lane with lead assessed for Fuego Latino. Bandito Burrito being held at the back and takes the inside lane after getting some offensive assist here from the Cal Squad blockers. Mistake running up on the inside, calls it. But as they tried to call it, they are assigned a cut track penalty and sent to the box. So this is a power jam for Bandito Burrito. That is not what the Latinos need. No, they do not need this, but that is, uh, that is fine. Fuego Latino now just needs to work on holding the line and killing that penalty. Uh, so uh, Cal Squad though is doing a good job at separating the pack. Uh, they do hold the captain at the back of the pack here, spreading them apart letting Bandito Burrito work against only three blockers instead of four. Looks, a, looks like a couple uh, more penalties, putting a couple of skaters at risk. Uh, one skater from the Sandwiches and one skater from Fuego Latino. But mistake on the inside lane assessed four points. So four points so far between the two teams in this jam. Peace War being sent to the box. Mistake coming around for another four points. Someone's being assessed to cut track. And that is Mistake for Fuego Latino being sent to the box. So another uh, round of power jam for the Cal Squad team. So far, Bandito Burrito uh, has made 12 points now, uh, having taken the outside lane. And that's the end of that jam. Uh, pretty much icing mistake in the box along with Peace War. So jammer and pivot in the box. So this is a pretty daunting power start here for uh, Cal Squad against Fuego Latino. 
In that last exchange, 12 points were made by the Sandwiches and five by Fuego. So we are now standing at 183 to 114 with five minutes left in the game and a team timeout. No, just a regular timeout. What kind of timeout? This timeout's gonna freeze the clock. An official timeout. Which is really good to freeze that clock because yeah. time is not the fire's friend right now. It's precious. But it, we do have an official timeout. Uh, the officials, as you can see, are gathered together. Their local watering hole, the zebras, just uh, having a conversation. It's a dazzle. <laughs> is that what they're called? If you've got three or more zebras together, it's called a dazzle. The more you know. Fun fact of the day. Haribu's got these delicious unicorn gummies. Uh, oh, yeah. I recommend you go find some. They got a cotton candy flavor that's just out of this world. I did have a couple. I don't think I registered the cotton candy, though. I don't know. You didn't get a cotton candy one? I don't know. There is one left. Um, it's I'm the okay. red one. I'm okay. I don't one. feel like candy right now, which okay. is such an odd thing to say, I'm sure, but I don't know. I don't want candy right now. I think it's always <laughs> time for a little that. candy. <laughs> All right, but uh, yeah, we'll just give that a little more time for the official timeout. Do you see UPSA and Whiskey just having a conversation? Oh, and just as I say that. Five second call, the official timeout is over. Everybody at the pivot line and now it's a race to stop. Fluffer Cutter, Peace War returning to the track. Coming up, trying to return to their blocker contingent. UPSA just uh, taking them out. Whiskey wow. with the final hit out just to make sure that Fluffer Cutter feels it. Um, defense reforms up at the front. One blocker, which is Whiskey. Whiskey just Whiskey having their Vaughn number. Whiskey Vaughn Sweets is out there wrecking shop right now. Yeah, which if you know Whiskey, uh, <laughs> they're a hard hitter and they do a lot of good work for Angel City but now is wearing purple for Fuego Latino, along with Peace War, UPSA, and can't tell who that last blocker is, but they're doing good work too. Now Peace War with the star on their head for Fuego Latino, but Fluffer Cutter had lead and calls it. Is that a wash? I think that might be a wash, zero, zero. I believe you're correct. 183. 114 with four minutes left to go. <laughs> You're keeping me in suspense. Hold up. The captain is calling, I believe, an official rev review here. So we're just going to take a moment and let them figure that out. How about let's play some. Oh, we can't play any music. Yeah, we can. Can we? I don't believe so. Yeah, we the could probably play it on here. I don't know. Well, I'll take away our scoreboard. Look, we'll do that, and we'll do just one moment. I'll get something going here. I don't think I have anything in there, but go ahead.
old. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been on Spotify on this device. I still got ads in Pandora. No music for you. I'm yeah. <laughs> he has ads on his Spotify. <laughs> let's let's find out how old Pepper is. Very sad. Very sad. We could have went somewhere else. Well, I mean, we can also talk about our sponsors. Might we could. Well. Oh, Pepper. It don't even have my music from my phone on here yet. <laughs> this was a gift for Father's Day for my kids. Oh, my God. You got to transfer everything over or make them transfer it. But I don't know how to do that. Pepper, use your resources. The children, the children. I can tell you that Flaco was looking for a, tra a track cut and they're not going to get it. So the no call stands. Fuego's going to lose the review for the last four minutes of the game. Para los que están en casa viendo la transmisión en vivo, Fuego uh, Latino estaba tratando de uh, forzar un penal contra el jammer de Cal Squad uh, porque no entraron legalmente adentro de la pista, uh, pero no retienen ese penal, así que van a regresar al juego con los dos jammers en la pista. Con menos de cuatro minutos. Y ahora regresamos al juego. Tenemos a Halloween uh, contra Dr. Blatt para Cow Squad. Dr. Blatt ahora está forzando los jugadores para el frente, pero parece que todos están hecho bola allí en el primer tun turno. Uh, pierden un jugador Cow Squad y salen los dos al mismo tiempo. Halloween está siguiendo cercamente a Dr. Blatt. Dr. Blatt, pero. Dr. Blatt retiene um, lead, así que él puede llamar el juego si quiere, y eso es lo que hace, ya que pasó algunos uh, de las caderas de los jugadores que están afuera, uh, hace un punto para su esfuerzo, ahora tenemos 184 para los sándwiches, y fuego se queda a 114, con menos de tres minutos en este segundo periodo. A bunch of love. Thank you. <laughs> My Spanish is a little rusty, but I try. It's a lot better than mine. I just know how to say all the bad words. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that's the uh, <laughs> majority of people trying to learn a new language. And that pack gets spread out. Senior Poo Poo gets let go and grabs lead jammer status. Coming out of turn one and a half. Five dollar foot long, the jammer record for the sandwiches. Does clear on the initial and is in hot pursuit of Senior Poo Poo. Oof. Nice. The jam's gonna get called, but not before two points are awarded to the fire. Yeah. Five dollar foot long and uh, Senior Poo Poo are pretty uh, evenly matched jammers. So that was a pretty good exchange though. Um, Poo getting the better of uh, five dollar foot long who tends to have lead pretty often. Uh, very rarely does he get uh, uh, bested by the jammers on the opposing team. So we do have a team timeout being called by the sandwiches. I'm pretty sure they're trying to just kind of stall that momentum that Fuego Latino is starting to build uh, because they do get two points from that last jam, bringing their score up to 116. Uh, which is still far away from the 185 that they have with the amount of time that we have on the board. But, you know, you never know. Well, I got this opportunity. How about all these excellent skaters? Do you have a favorite? Join in that and by scanning a QR code posted around the building or following the link in the chat to select your favorite as tournament MVP. We'll be announcing and celebrating our MVPs after the final game on Sunday. It's never too late, and it's your duty to go vote for your favorite player. Fuego Latino hyping up $5 footlong on the line. They had a little dancey dance moment there. 
<laughs> Still plenty of love between the two teams despite all the competition going on. And the team timeout is over. That was quick. Still got a minute 54 left on the clock. As we start jam number 21 of the second half, $5 foot long, wearing that star for the sandwiches, Effie Bomber. Jam a record for the fire. $5 foot long cruises past that clover cut jammer line, pivot line and takes off. Effie clear on the initial and now eligible to score. Nice apex jump from $5 foot long and calls it off. He was saving that one. That, Just for us. I can't wait to go back and look at that. That was an epic apex jump from $5 <laughs> foot long. <laughs> It's like it's starting to, you know, come to a close. I might as well end it with a nice little showstopper move. Five second call on the track. Everybody getting hyped for this possibly last jam of the game. We, we got a super pack advantage for the fire. Yeah, big pack advantage, which allows Mistake to go through the inside lane assigned lead against Dr. Blatt, who is still held up a little bit before taking the outside lane. Oh. We did have to call that jam for a down skater. I did hear that helmet hit the ground hard, so we're just going to give that a moment to get an assessment done. Okay. We will definitely... Everybody understands the importance of a helmet in these times, um, but even a helmet can't save you from even the hardest of hits to this pretty obviously concrete floor. So uh, always make sure that you take a moment and assess yourself if you do hit your head on the ground. As much protection as we have, concussions are one of the most silent injuries. <laughs> uh, so definitely keep your guys uh, safe, better safe than sorry. Absolutely, always wear your helmet, make sure it fits properly. Yeah, uh, keep your helmet updated and uh, up to safety standards. And try not to bounce it off the ground. Try not to do that. And out with lead is Senor Poo Poo for Fuego Latino against Dr. Blatt, who is now finding some light on the inside then outside just knows how to cut through a pack pretty easily and is out on their initial meanwhile senor poo poo is running up trying to keep their feet inbounds uh the efforts from cal squad to keep Dr. Uh, senor poo poo back uh, as dr black returns everybody just cheering each other on in that last jam of the game the unofficial score now up on the board all bright for you to see 193 for the sandwiches the three points for fuego latino brings them up to 119 at the end of that exchange and there's the rolling whistle that means that score is final thank you fighting girlfriend for your 301 game congratulations on your newly found cape you get to how about making some noise for all our skaters out here today Go out there, give them a high five, let them know that you enjoyed that game. And for those watching in Twitch land, thank you for joining us for that exciting game between the Sandwiches and Fuego Latino. Para los que vieron esta transmisión en vivo, muchas gracias por unirse a, a la canal del Arizona Roller Derby para ver este juego contra Sandwiches y Fuego Latino. Uh, los esfuerzos de los dos equipos fueron notados. Muchas gracias por uh, sus esfuerzos. Los jugadores, todos con muchas sonrisas. 193 para los sándwiches y 119 para Fuego Latino en el final de esa segunda etapa de este juego. Ahora, manténganse en atentos. Va a haber un juego más, pero va a ser un juego mixto. Uh, los Jabubs y los Flash Floods va a ser el último juego de la noche. Así que regresa y pues vamos a estar aquí para ustedes. Muchas gracias. I ain't got nothing to say. Well, 
You guys all from Fuego Latino and Sandwiches, stick around. We will be assigning the MVPs for you guys. Absolutely. So stick around, guys. We will be assigning MVPs. I will come and find you. Thank you so much. On behalf of Ampere, I am Johnny Pepper, wishing you peace, love, and roller derby.